I'm Nina from Nufti, and this is Two Minutes in Tehran, where you'll find all you need to know from this week on Iran in under two minutes. On Tuesday, the Islamic Republic launched over 150 missiles at Israel. The regime failed to issue a NOTAM before the attack, leaving Iran's airspace open to commercial flights, with videos showing planes in close proximity to missile launches while Khamenei was taken to a secret bunker. Israel, Jordan, and Iraq all closed their airspaces at the time. Only four years ago, the Islamic Republic struck Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 with surface-to-air missiles, killing all 176 passengers on board. Last Friday, Hassan Nasrallah, Secretary General of Hezbollah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike. To no surprise, news of Nasrallah's death sparked celebrations in Iran, with people dancing, drinking, and making kotlet. Hezbollah is a terrorist organization that serves as an extension of the Islamic Republic in the region. During the 2009 uprising in Iran, many of the agents cracking down on protesters were Hezbollah fighters who were trained in Iran. Many believe that Hezbollah played a role in suppressing protests during the Women Life Freedom Uprising as well, and Hezbollah has confirmed in the past that it supported the Assad regime in cracking down on citizens during the Syrian civil war. While the Islamic Republic drags Iran into a war it doesn't want, the people of Iran continue to suffer. Following the strike, a video showed cars waiting for gas in excruciating lines. Meanwhile, refinery workers in Boucher joined in on protests against poor working conditions and low wages as the regime continues to neglect them to prioritize war. Thanks for joining Two Minutes in Tehran with me, Nina Nufti. Stay tuned for more news from our team, and we'll see you next week.